Gotta be me. This game has to be played with strategy. I'm gonna be your best friend, but I will absolutely double cross you. You can't trust anybody in here. You must now pick two players to eliminate. <laughs> Squid Games. A new reality show based on the popular Netflix series Squid Game puts more than 400 people from around the world to the ultimate test. Contestants compete in a series of physical and mental challenges similar to the show, except no one's murdered, for a cash prize of just over four and a half million dollars. Joining us now is contestant number 452. Mark Jalapo, good morning. Good morning. Well, Marcus is here. You've seen the show. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. watched it. I've got a lot of uh, questions about all kinds of stuff before, here. M before Marcus gets into the yeah. nitty gritty what's happening on the show, how do they do that? I mean, the whole basis of the Squid Game is that they're yep. just killing people in yeah. the actual show. Yes. So what do they do? Yeah, so in the show, they, obviously, no one dies, no one, no one uh, gets hurt in the show, but they basically strap a, uh, it's called a squib pack to you, and then when you get eliminated, there's someone uh, up in the tower, basically, that sends a signal to that, and it sends a little shot of ink through it, and oh. that's supposed to simulate your elimination, uh, is what they called it, so really. So why did they pick you? What did you have to do to get on there and win, win them over? Yeah, so I was actually pretty surprised that I got on it. I mean, I'm just a pretty, pretty regular guy, but... Uh, uh, I found out about that the I love the show Squid Game when yeah. it first came out, and I found out that uh, they were doing a reality show through a, through a coworker actually. And a couple days later, uh, I was sitting in my uh, laptop and at, at night, and I was like, "Oh, I really like the show. I think I'd be really good at it." And I kind of applied on a whim. I made a minute-long video about myself. I was very charismatic. I was myself, which I feel like is very personable, and filled out a very long application on it. And that led to a phone call. I was actually at a Cubs game when I got the phone call, so I had to call yeah. them back. Yeah. Thanks, Ari, if you're out there for <laughs> answering that again. Uh, and then that led to a Zoom interview, another Zoom interview. They cut that Zoom interview down, the, the second Zoom interview, down to a one-minute video that was then sent to Netflix. Yeah. And then I heard back like intermittently for a couple months, like, ooh, you're 90% on the show, you're 99% on the show. And I didn't find out until three days before my flight to London that I actually made it on wow. the show. Wow. So, so we were just showing a clip, like that episode two, that was your moment on the show. Yeah, when was... uh, I don't know if you remember this, Robin, in the original Squid Game, when they do the cookie, when they, yeah, you yeah, have to yeah. do, use a needle to get the cookie yes. out. Well, during that challenge, um, they had to pick doors to yep. pick what symbol that they were going to get. Can you just break that down a little bit for people who have watched the show? Mm -hmm. Because there was interesting characters in that room. 432, oh, yeah. who everybody hates. Um, and also, the, was it 199 Spencer. who ended up, ended up picking the mm -hmm. umbrella? Like, what mm -hmm. was going on with that guy and all of that stuff? How did that all work out? Yeah, so we, they bring us into this white room, and everyone had it. I thought that it was going to be Dalgana, which is where you pick the shape. Yeah. Um, and they, they make us get into lines of, of four lines, basically. And there was like 45 to 50 people in each line, and they and don't you tell you the what it's really shape. for. So you want you the easiest shape. Right. Yeah, so That's you want the easiest shape. So you ended correct. up pulling that off. Exactly. So we get into the, to the room, and I knew. Spencer was already cracking. He had started crying before we got, even got in the room. I knew Brighton was going to be pretty brash and try and bully Spencer into actually Is that getting him to, yeah, four, okay, three, right. to actually get him to select um, uh, the umbrella. But Spencer just wanted <laughs> to say his speech. Manipulation going on. Spencer just wanted to say his speech, and Brighton wouldn't let Spencer say his speech. So I was like, Brighton, it doesn't really show up on the edit, but I was like, Brighton, let him talk. He's going to pick umbrella. Eventually, got Brighton to let. Spencer talk, and then with like two seconds left, Spencer puts yeah, his hand. Yeah, because if they don't all agree to pick the things, yeah. they yeah. all get eliminated. Right. And the team before them all got eliminated in oh. the room. So there's a clock ticking down, and so they had to convince this poor guy who's crying. And then the guy's doing his umbrella; he's throwing up in his mouth what? during all this. So, I mean, yeah. so you, the prize is over four million dollars, yeah. but you're one of four hundred and fifty-six mm -hmm. people. How do you stand out? Yeah, I mean, really, what I learned was just you got to be yourself, and uh -huh. it, people are going to see right through you if you're trying to be fake. Which Brighton, I mean, to his credit, he was himself. You yeah. know, people didn't like it, but he was himself, and and that's just really you got to just make alliances, be yourself, and, and hope that things work out in your favor. So you didn't make it past this first round of episodes. You uh -huh. got eliminated in the Warship game. Yeah. But do you, you don't have to tell us, but do you know who won? Do you know I who the victor? I don't know who you won. Don't, that you is under lock know. and key. Wow, I have okay. no idea who won. And, and people who have made it advanced, they don't even know what happens in the last couple of episodes. You That's don't even know even what the games are and what no, happened? No, we wow. have no idea. As soon as you get off the show, you're gone. You're There's done. There's a you don't mother and bye. son on this together, yeah. Robin, yeah. and they just got to end it with a cliffhanger. And 
and they are playing a game against each other, and one of them is going to get eliminated <laughs> in this game. We'll find out oh. in the next episode. It, it is a great sense. cliffhanger. So what do you do in your regular like life, Mark? Uh, so I work in an advertising agency here in oh. Chicago. Um, I love the outdoors. I love golf, all that stuff. All the stuff that's hard to do in Chicago, I love to do. You trying to find a date? <laughs> yeah. Is this your dating profile? <laughs> I'm 6'1". <laughs> right. Here he is. Mark would have been better if he won. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's been great, great to meet you. Speaking Thanks, of Mark. the challenges on Netflix, you can see Mark and uh, follow him on Instagram. There's his, there's his, if you yeah. want to DM yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. There he, is. he was like one of the more normal people on the show. He's yeah. like, oh, I would like to see oh, him there win. There were some but, characters yeah, on the show. That's for sure. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Mark. Absolutely. Hey,